Why would you build and live in a tiny house when you could simply buy an RV? This is a question that I have been asked a million times since building my tiny house five years ago. And the answer I've always given is that they're completely different. RVs are typically mass produced and made with cheap and lightweight materials. They just don't have that same feeling of home that you get with a tiny home. That is what I used to think at least until recently. I've come across quite a few renovated RVs that have completely blown my mind. In today's video, you're going to meet a newlywed couple who decided to gut and renovate an RV into a gorgeous tiny home. And I think once you see the inside, you're going to get that same feeling of home that we all crave. Make this house our tiny home. Oh. We're the Remingtons and this is our tiny house. Caleb and I actually grew up 15 minutes away from each other, but met out here in California through a mutual friend. Caleb has a condition called cystic fibrosis. CF is a genetic disease that affects the lungs and digestive system. Diagnosed when I was one, told I was only gonna live till 19. When I turned 19, the life expectancy went up to 29, and then when I turned 29, it's up to 37, so kind of just lived this life of having this disease. For him to kind of come into my life and bring this new energy and Light, it changed my life for the better. So long story short, fell in love, got engaged in Kauai, and then decided to put on the greatest wedding ever donated, which is a charity gala and benefit concert hosted in place of our wedding. Our tiny home is about 300 square feet and we've been living in it for just over a year now. We bought it for $20,000. We put about 10,000 into it and we just started ripping everything out. This place kind of felt claustrophobic and that was goal number one was to open it up and give it more space. After that, that's when Tiff really got to flex her creative design brain and really bring this place to life and make it feel like home. We had like no idea how to do tiny living or how to use really a hammer and <laughs> any kind of tool. And we're like, well, yeah, we'll figure it out. Welcome to our tiny home. Come on in. So this is the living room and this is our amazing couch that folds down into a bed. We love to host people here. So this generally is the place where a lot of people put their little rumpa bum bumps. Up in here we have some storage. This is where we put our containers. This is Oso's special cabinet where his food and brushes all are. We also have extra storage underneath where we have blankets um, and also any fun little tinker toys that we have. I actually do a lot of work here. So I sit in this corner, I sit in this corner. We also use this space for our TV watching time. It is kitty corner to the TV, so it's perfect. So this is the front of the RV, and this is the captain's chair. This is where Caleb loves to sit and take his little loungy time. Also, right behind it is the steering wheel, and that is how we actually move this whole motor home. We have the curtains here that we made ourselves. They're just regular curtains from Ikea. We folded them in half and then latched them onto the original hooks that came with the RV. And also in front, we have insulation that keeps us cooler in the summer and warmer in the winter. Here is our day bed that also acts as storage. There used to be another co-captain's chair that we ripped out, but we figured since that chair was collecting so much just random stuff, we're like, let's build an extra storage space. So this is bolted to the ground and we also have hidden seat belts that come out when we move. I'm gonna take you to our kitchen, which is my favorite spot. I love to cook. We completely gutted this. 
we just kept the lowers. I just took out the upper cabinets and put floating shelves in. I know it's something that a lot of us tiny homers love to have because it opens up the space. And we have so many beautiful dishes that have been collected over time, so we wanted to showcase that off. Over here, we kept our original oven and stove just financially. It just made sense for us and everything was working. And it seems like the previous owners didn't really use it that much, so it was a big win for us. We also use it as extra storage for some pots and pans. And this is something that we absolutely love. We just built a box, kind of like a faux vent over it, just to hide our microwave. And what we have is a little metal magnetic at the bottom and it just sticks to the top. And this is where we can access our microwave. But yeah, we just felt like this was such a nice little modern and kind of open touch. And something else that I absolutely love about our kitchen is these faux brick walls. So we got this thin sheet of faux brick from Home Depot and we mortared on top of it and then just painted it. And again, it gives that really rough kind of texture, but it makes it look a little bit realistic and again, more modern. And the white always opens everything up in here. Here is our fridge. This is something I'm always curious about when we were uh, looking to live tiny, we we're like, how big are the fridges? Because we like to eat. We can hold a lot of things and we have a couple drawers at the bottom for our fruit and vegetables. We have little meat stations, but we try to keep everything as organized as possible. But it definitely does hold a lot of food. And this is our pantry as well. This has a little rolling rack where we can pull out. We have our canned food, some of our baking essentials, and any other little knickknacks that we have. This is our coffee nook area. We use it a lot for our Instapot and prep area. So there's not as much real estate on the kitchen countertop. So I, I like to come here and prep a lot of our food. This one is so special to us. This is a drawing made by my best friend, Kayla Haber. She also has cystic fibrosis like Caleb. Caleb and I actually saved our actual wedding day for them. We got married at UCLA Hospital because Kayla was waiting for her second lung transplant and she couldn't make it to our actual wedding that we had and she was supposed to stand with us. So while she was in the hospital, she drew this for us and gave it to us as a gift and we absolutely love it. This is where we eat, this is where we work, this is where we play games. Up here we have some storage for our cups and thermoses, and on this side is more of Caleb's medications. So this table was actually leftover scrap wood that we had from cutting out our kitchen counter butcher block, and all we did was just buy some industrial legs from Amazon. You'll see throughout the rest of the house, it has like a modern industrial kind of feel. We do love white spaces. It just, again, opens up our tiny house. So uh, you'll see a lot of those different accents. We are going to take you to the bathroom now. This space actually is a lot bigger than we ever anticipated. We love how drastically different we were able to transform this small room. We went with the peel and stick tiles for our accent, which has been absolutely awesome. This back wall I just added. I just used a little bit of black paint and a sponge. The sink is just an actual sink bowl. We were able to just put a little drain in it, drill a little hole, and then and the faucet is from Amazon and it gives another, again, different kind of metal that is brought into the home. The one thing that we always get asked about, honestly, is our toilet. We ended up keeping the original toilet that was in here. We were kind of thinking about going towards the composting route. It was just a little bit more expensive, so just trying to keep budget friendly. What I love about this space as well is the skylight, we're able to kind of shower under the stars or have the sun beating on us. Um, it always just makes it a little bit more kind of a nature feel. It's also a tub shower, so it's really great for when we have to give Oso a little bath time, which he absolutely hates.
So this is our bedroom. In the front, we have our dresser where we put most of our everyday clothes. We have our bookshelves with our essential oils. That's also another place that we frequent a lot. We try to do reading every morning and every night, about 20 minutes. This was something that we brought from our old place. We absolutely love it. It was just an easy print that we got off Etsy. And we took out the other half of the cabinet closet here and then made it into a nook for reading and also extra seating space when people come into the bedroom area. Behind me is another closet. This is where we put a lot of like our bigger kind of chunky coats and suits and clothing wear that we don't necessarily wear every day. I think our bedding probably changes out every month. I feel like, especially with pillows, underneath the bedding is more storage space. We're able to lift it up and uh, have a little bit more um, storage for clothing as well as some extra blankets for guests that come over. So one of the things that we had to consider while going tiny um, is trying to figure out space to store Caleb's medication. This is Caleb's Aflovest. We store it on the side of our bed um, as well as his nebulizers. We chose the bedroom to store most of his medications um, because it is the least traffic area in the house um, with people coming in and out all the time and especially a lot of the windows open there's just higher opportunity for bacteria and viruses to land on things in our very near future we're starting to plan for hopefully growing our family. Our kind of bigger goal is to be able to move into a container home. We're obsessed with them and we're starting to get that same feeling that we did when we were looking at motor homes and all that stuff. So I feel like that's something that could definitely be a reality for us in the next um, three to five years. So living tiny and moving into a space that is less than 300 square feet has definitely brought its challenges, but if anything, it's brought us closer together. It's made us learn how to communicate better with one another. While there is lack of privacy, there is more of an opportunity for intimacy in a way that you don't have like when you're in a big space. If anything, it's allowed us to grow individually, which helps us grow together um, as a couple. We love this lifestyle and I think it's definitely showed us a whole new way of life. Make sure to check out my website for more stories on the tiny house movement including renovated RVs, vans, schoolies, and everything else tiny living. Mm -hmm.